Hey guys, I want to share a principle with you. It's called fortune favors the bold. Fortune favors the bold. And what do I mean by that? I mean that good things happen when you step up and you take bold action. Now, I'm going to illustrate this with a story, something that happened in my life. I was in my office one night and I was getting ready to, to leave. I'd worked a long day, wrapping things up, closing up my bag, when on my computer screen came a CBS Market Watch report. And the Market Watch report was showing me that a dot com company, a famous company that actually owed my client a ton of money, was getting ready to go out of business. And I stood there and I watched the report. And after the report went off the screen, it was just like a one minute or a two minute thing. I went back to packing up my bags and I was just gonna head on home. I was beat, I was tired for the day. But then I thought, you know, that company is getting ready to go out of business. It's already being reported on national television and on the CBS Market Watch. You know, maybe I need to take some action. And so I did. Rather than closing up my bag and figuring I could call them tomorrow or follow up another time, I actually sat back down, got on Google, Googled the company, actually found out who the, the chief financial officer was, got his name, went through the phone tree of the company, went through all these hoops and all, all this uh, shenanigans to finally track the person down. I was actually able to get their telephone number and their extension in New York City. And that night, I forget what time it was, it might've been 7.30, 8 o'clock at night, picked up the phone and I called. And guess what? He was sitting at his desk and he answered the phone and he took my call. And so he and I got into a conversation and he was just a regular guy like anyone else. His company was going down the tubes, but it, you know, nothing he could do about it at, at, at that point. And we struck up a good rapport. And so I talked to him about my client and what was going on. And after we had that conversation, he said, you know what, Wayne, I'm going to take care of your client. Now, I don't have to take care of anyone at this moment because we are, as you've seen in the news reports, we're going out of business. And I don't know if we're going to be liquidated or if it's going to be a bankruptcy or what it's going to be, but we're gone. But I'm going to take care of your company. And he said to me, do you know why? And I said, no, I don't know why. He said, because you were bold enough to call me. And I'll let you know, he was good to his word. Now that company went away and it had a famous little jingle and all of that. You would know it if I told you, but he stuck to his word. So what can you take from that? Well, sometimes boldness is needed. You've got to take action when you've got the moment. You've got to seize the moment. And so three things that I want you to remember, <laughs> four things, three things that I want you to remember about seizing fortune. Number one, Take action. You've got to take action. Now, I was tired. I wanted to go home. It had been a long day. I didn't think really that I could call Manhattan and the main offices of this failing um, uh, huge company and actually get the chief financial officer on the phone, talk to him about my client and have him agree to send a rather large sum of money to my client as they were failing to meet their other obligations. But I took action and by taking action I was able to get a great result for my client and so number one don't sit around don't waste time hey you've got to call your buddy call your buddy you gotta call your partner call your partner you gotta call your vendor make the call call your mother but take action because fortune favors the bull fortune will always favor the man or the woman of action. Number two, <laughs> you got to quiet the lizard brain. Now, what's the lizard brain? The lizard brain is something I think Seth Godin came up with this. I know I read it in one of his books, but I'll tell you what it is. The lizard brain is that part of your brain that when you're tired and you're ready to go home for the night and you see something come up on Market Watch, your lizard brain says, ah, just go home. The lizard brain says, go home tomorrow. You got time. Don't worry about it. Eh. 
Or the lizard brain says stuff like, well, they're going out of business anyway. They'll never pay your client. Ah, just go home. You're tired. That's the lizard brain. Or when it's time to hit the gym or to do some push-ups, it says, ah, you don't need those push-ups. You'll be okay. Ah, go ahead. Take the easy road. That's what the lizard brain does. And so you've got to quiet the lizard brain. And when the lizard brain said to me, ah, just go home. You're whipped. You've done enough for that. You can't do anything anyway. Do you really think you're going to catch this guy in his office at 7.30 or 8 o'clock at night in Manhattan? But I did. And so you got to take action. You got to quiet. You got to turn off that noise in your head. And then finally... You've got to close the deal. What did I do? The following day? Well, before I, the following day, I actually sent an email of our conversation. The following day, I followed up. The day after that, I followed up. And I followed up until he made good on what he said. Now, I, I'm not saying he wouldn't have done it or that he lacked integrity or whatever, but I had to follow up because in the environment, in the situation that he was in, who knows, it was quite volatile at the time. And so I made sure that I saw the deal close. And so my friend, listen, if you want fortune on your side, if you want things to roll in your favor, if you want things to happen, you have got to seize the moment. You've got to take action. You got to turn off that stupid lizard brain. And then you've got to take the extra step and close the deal. And big things will happen. All right. Great talking to you. I'll see you in the next video.